it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, finally back with another video after the holiday season. Hope everybody had a good holiday season. Um, finally back, we are here on um, Clover Creek. I am just working on some corn harvest here. Still got a ways to go with it, but uh, we're working on it, chipping away bit by bit. So see our nutrients here uh, 5.4 so this field didn't get as much lime uh, I don't even know if this one had lime on it let's look here yeah it did um, everything else is okay uh, sorghum I cannot get to work on this map so we will not be doing sorghum um, a lot of other people, they've had that same issue. Uh, they cannot do sorghum, so uh, I'm not the only one. Uh, but, yeah, so unfortunately cannot do sorghum on this map, which I guess is okay, but would be nice. Um, I have no idea where I was in the last video, so I have no idea what happened. Um, all I know is there's some combining done on this field and a whole crap ton left. Um, I haven't, I haven't played on this map in quite a while. I have not played 15 in, you know, about a week, um, since the Christmas special. It's actually nearly been two weeks already. Um... But, yeah, just haven't done a whole lot of stuff on here, period. Um, tomorrow, there should be a video, I'm hoping. I'm not sure. I'm leaving this, um, leaving here in a few hours. Uh, today is Saturday. Uh, I'm going to be leaving here in a few hours to go to the farm and celebrate Christmas there. Uh, because we had a huge snowstorm uh, last weekend over Christmas, so... Uh, we were unable to leave town So we're doing it this weekend, and I'm not sure um, They're talking another snow storm. I don't know if it's gonna be like a big storm or just some snow with a bunch of wind or what um, So not sure I should be back though for Tuesday's video um, But yeah, so Just figured I'd record a couple videos I'm going to record this video and edit, get it editing and get it edited and get it uploading and see what time it is then and I might, uh, might record a, uh, Tuesday's video, might not. Kind of would like to because I kind of like to do some playing on, uh, M my MAFM save game over there. So we are 86% full. So I think what we'll do is we'll get down here to the end and then we'll just unload the combine. I've just been running the green cart myself just because this thing is not filling up fast enough. Um, it's not worth you know, having course play sit there and run it. And I can just run it and come up and empty it. So we will go ahead and run up here and unload that. We do have uh, a few hours on this tractor now. We got 
three on it right now. So we're getting a few hours on it. Not very many, that's for sure. There is a lot of corn left. Holy smokes. I did forget to put damage mod back in, I just realized that. But I will uh, make sure I put that back in for the next video. Oh. Okay. I gotta adjust myself here. Big time. I'm just gonna shut that guy off because he does not need to be running that much. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Big bump right there, you never notice that. Guess we probably could ah, we'll do one more unload and then we'll dump the cart. It's not quite full yet. Wrong way. <clears throat> so I did find um, there is a new header here that I found. Uh, where is it at, though? Hmm. Ah, here it is. Uh, a Honeybee SP42, I think it is. Um, so this is, here is a 36, and this is a 42. I don't know if it would actually work on this combine, though. I think this combine, like the, uh, the auger, I think, is a little too short for that header. It has a fairly large header. Um, maybe the 36 foot... Uh, I don't know if if the 36 is like the size that's what I'm gonna guess I don't know I really don't know much about honeybee um, never seen never seen them really before around here I don't think um, not sure if there are many of those around here or not uh, mostly it's just Mac Don, John Deere, Case I know a lot of people use Macdon Draper heads, and then they'll use like a, you know, if they run a John Deere combine, they'll have a John Deere corn head or something. I know uh, at my papa's farm, they use a Macdon uh, Draper and then a John Deere corn head. I think, I think they've run Macdon heads for quite a while, actually. I know when they used to have, um, what kind of combine did they used to have? Like an 8820 or something like that. Uh, they used to have, you know, like some older combines. I think they were like 8000 series, something like that. Those they ran John Deere heads on. But I think every other combine had Macdon on it. I think. There is a lot of corn for this little combine. Holy crap. <clears throat> so, like, last week I had been playing on, uh, um, or well, a couple of weeks ago now, I was playing on Newbie Farm in 2013, and 
I was driving a combine back to the farm and suddenly like this little red bar popped up on the screen and like my the graphics on my computer totally changed. I was like, what the world? Tried to figure out what keys I had hit that did that and couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. And um, then I found what program it was. It was MSI True Color. So then I tried opening that program. So that way I could change it back to what it you know, originally was, whatever setting it was. And it wouldn't open. It would just say, you know, it would like. The icon would pop up on the uh, taskbar, and then it would just say unresponsive, you know, that it was unresponsive, basically. And then finally today, I just figured out that, uh, you know, if I go go here, and if I, well, it just disappeared on me, but I right-click on it, and then I could change, um, change which setting it was on. And so I had to put it back on game, which is what it was originally on before, I believe. Uh, that's the one that I liked the most, though. It was close, you know, pretty close to what it was before. And, you know, I don't remember what setting it was on originally, if it was on game or home or office uh, or what, but I had uh, just put it back on, put it onto game, and now it's back to normal. That was really driving me nuts that my desktop was all weird. And even even in programs and stuff, it was all kind of weird, weird looking too. So I am just using GPS. A little easier to run with than uh, freehand in it. We are a little bit off, but I guess that's okay. We're still combining, so just plugging away at it. kind of funny how the exhaust there allows you to see through the smoke and you can kind of see like a weird view of the farm. It's kind of funny. Wrong button. Forgetting buttons here now. I haven't played 15 in a while. been playing 13 usually when I play. Come on, auto save. I kind of want to get rid of the auto save mod because that gets annoying when it auto saves, but at the same time, I don't because, you know, there's always time. You know, sometimes you'll get a thing where, you know, you're working along and then all of a sudden your game just crashes. Well, if you've been playing for, you know, like an hour or something and never saved, then you just lost an hour worth of work so that's kinda that's why I don't want to get rid of it but I do because it gets annoying when you know suddenly the game just like freezes and then I gotta sit and wait for it to unfreeze sometimes it takes longer to save than other times I don't know why that is but So we're only 38% full. And we've gone. We've done about. Let's see. We're on our fourth pass. So we're averaging about 10. Like, I'll say maybe 15% a pass. 
Maybe. Somewhere in there. And I have heard uh, there's a new Gleaner S90... 98, I believe, um, that's coming out on Polygonish. Some people have already bought it, um, but it's not out for public yet, for public purchase. And I think there's somebody that's going to release it. I'm not sure. Uh, I know there was one person I saw that said they're not. And then, you know, I don't know what uh, what the other people are doing. But definitely a awesome looking combine. That would be really, really nice. The only bad thing is it does not come with a grain platform. Um, which would be nice. It does come with a corn head. Uh, which kind of sucks. I kind of wish that Polly would, you know, make the header too. But, or, you know, both headers. Um, so, you know, like, when he made this combine. In addition to having the grain platform. Also having an actual corn head built for this model. Um... But, fortunately, he did not, so. But, then, of course, that would also make the models a little more expensive, but you get, uh, you get both headers then. But there are plenty of headers out there, you know, like the Honey Bee or the Mac Don that you can put on the Gleaner. I'm really hoping that somebody does uh, release it. That would be an awesome combine. Uh, I saw somebody say, one of the guys that's working on it, he said that uh, had to do a lot more work in Blender than usual with the poly models. Uh, because there's a lot of stuff that he did not add that um, they had to go in and manually add. Uh, something with the grain tank, some stuff in the cab, and stuff on the main body even. But, otherwise it looks really awesome. There are quite a few new models on there that uh, look really, really nice. Uh, there's a Macdon uh, FD75, I believe is the model number on that. Uh, there's a versatile, there's two versatile 550s, one is a... Uh, dual wheel and one is a delta track uh, there's the honeybee sp42 an sp or an sp uh, I gotta look here um, so there's the challenger mt 755c the five of uh, their 500s 500 delta track here's the fd75 uh, this Case IH 955 planner that I really, really want to buy. Uh, yes, SP42 and SP36. Uh, these combines would be pretty cool. Here's the other one. And then this is all just kind of some older stuff. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of cool, cool models on there. Um, and I have a message. Didn't So there are a lot of nice models coming out. Um, I'm refraining from buying them. I would love to buy them, but... Uh, I am going to try and get back into some more modding. I've A buddy of mine was asking me how I, my projects were going, and I was like, you know, honestly, I have not touched things in weeks, maybe months. Um, I just haven't felt like it, but I really do want to get in and get some stuff finished up. Um, get some things done because I'd like to clear up some of those projects and make room for you know, new projects that I want to do in the future and I want to get my map finished up so I can play on that and just you know all sorts of different things that really want to get done but 
I'm gonna try and work on them more. Um, like I know my my uh, Circle J cattle trailer that's ready for in gaming. Uh, I might do a couple more changes to it, but that's about it. And then uh, um, the Chandler tender trailer, I just gotta make dynamic planes for that, and that's ready for scripting. The Ram 3500, they just got to bake the textures, and that's ready for scripting. And um, Yeah, those are the ones that are really close. And then I've got you know, a whole bunch of other projects that are, you know, they're ready to roll. Um, like I got the Oxbow uh, Corn Picker from Polygonish. That's ready. Uh, actually, that's just about ready to be uh, AO'd. Uh, I've got pretty much everything separated on it, I think, so. Eighty-four percent now. It's left to unload again here at the end, and then uh, I'm gonna kind of cut this video short because I'm gonna be leaving a little sooner than I thought. So we'll get down here to the end, and then we'll get this combine unloaded, and then that'll be all. Just shut that guy off there. Now we will head over here and unload the combine, and then we will just load this into the truck, I think, as well, while we're here.
That's right. I've got pipe camera. Oh, it's kind of crazy going back. So it's only about 2.25 in the afternoon here in game. So we still got plenty of daylight left for combining. I think you uh, probably be combining into the night though regardless because there's a lot of corn left here. A ridiculous amount of corn. I might have to wait until after I leave um, to edit and upload this, but it'll be up somehow, sometime, some way. I'll make sure of that. So what button is it? Right? Ah, right alt. But I have a program for number one. So that'll be kind of cool once we get over here and get unloading see it pretty close all right and we're full with 8.3 percent left in combine oh it says there too yep so this should fill that truck quite a ways if not fill it because it's already see it's already the truck the tr okay, I'm lost on how how the glance or the inspector mod is figuring that out. So we'll get lined up here and then we'll go right like this. We got a GoPro here. Oops, my finger keeps slipping off, but <laughs> it's kind of a neat way to do it. can't really move around but oh well so 70 5 80 so it'll, yeah it's pretty much full so guys that's going to do it all that's going to be all for this video if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel make sure to subscribe if you like what you see make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, which um, will be edited here pretty soon. Uh, right now, it's still the Monday through Friday, 6 p.m., Saturday through Sunday, um, 4. Uh, I'm going to be changing that to tell what will be when and whatnot. Um, there's also links down there to my social medias. My mod site and other cool YouTube channels that are definitely worth taking a look at. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video for you, me. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we will see you tomorrow.